Well, we had a good run. Genshin music, Kai Kai music. It's all going downhill from here. No, in all seriousness, though, all jokes aside, Yu Ping Shen put out a post this morning saying that he will be stepping down from Hyomix. So what that means is he will be leaving the entire company of Mihayo, Hyoverse, which means there just will not be any more music composed by him. He's still a composer and he will still be continuing to make music. He'll still make music elsewhere. He just won't be a part of Mihayo anymore. Now, I do apologize if this message is not translated correctly, like 100 percent, but it reads as follows. He says, sorry to disturb everyone. According to the arrangements of some of my personal creative plans, after a period of careful consideration and several exchanges with the company, I chose to leave Mihayo and the Hyo Mix team to continue pursuing my music dream. So that's already a W. Seeing the composing students in the Hyo Mix team continue to grow, seeing Genshin Impact's music moving forward step by step, and then he mentions Fonte music is really good, so that heavily implies that he was not responsible for Fontaine's music. So that just goes to show. And I'm assuming that says recalling. Recalling the support and help from the company and colleagues gave me during the music production progress or process, it is really the best thing. Another unforgettable memory. I sincerely ask everyone to understand and respect my choice. In the future, I will continue to explore the music path. I plan to release a new album of personal pure music works next year. The specific plans will be announced in the future. I hope you will continue to support me of creation. From now on, I will continue to visit the VAT with everyone as a traveler. Nice. Wow. This is actually very heartwarming, actually. So basically, he wants to go on his own path. He wants to make his own personal music, which is totally understandable because when you're part of a company, all of your ideas and creativity, it's all going into, you know, Hyo Mix. Like your name is still put on there, of course, but you giving all your ideas to a company, all your ideas to a, you know, specific game or a certain subject. So now you can take that creativity and you can put it towards your own things, right? Now you are just you, you know, now he'll just be himself and be able to continue making music, amazing music. In fact, it just will be his own personal, you know, his own personal feel to it, his own thing to it. It won't be the Sumeru battle theme or the Fontaine battle theme or anything like that. So that's very, very good for him. So I wish him the best of luck. And, you know, this is a big W for him. I'm glad he's he's able to make this decision consciously and just, you know, go forward. So great news for him himself. I wish him the best. And one last thing about him as well, Yu Ping Shen. He has been doing this work for almost like 15 years now. And when I say 15 years, I just mean like his career as a whole, right? He's done TV series. He's done movies. He's done like a handful of projects um, other than just Genshin, obviously. But the thing is, his future is going to involve his own personal work. So that's a beautiful thing because it's not just going to be working for a company or a show or something. It's going to be his own work. So I will definitely be checking that out whenever uh, whenever it comes to. But yeah, I mean, a round of applause for him for sure. Now, I will say it is a bit jarring when you look at his catalog. Now, it, it is obviously Yu Ping Shen and Hayao Mix, but you know, I mean, like the Scar Moose theme, Moon in One's Cup, the main theme of the game, <laughs> a sweet smile, you know, like obviously he's done some amazing things, but my point is he has done incredible things and you are going to like even the Sumeru theme as well. Like, you know, just the whole album he's composed and arranged. But the thing is, yeah. It is going to sound a bit different, possibly. It will. Not everything was produced and composed by him. But the thing is, you're going to hear, you know, a lot of the jokes and the memes. Like, you know, if a soundtrack comes out and it's not really all that bumping or it's not really all that exciting, there's always going to be like the, well, you know, you Ping Shen did leave, you know, you know that there's going to be that. That's going to happen in the future, definitely. But the point is, it's a whole studio. You know, Hayao Mix is still going to do a great job with it. But I will say it is worth mentioning that while there have been incredible soundtracks by him, there have also been incredible soundtracks not by him. So, you know, he's, he's, not, he's not the only composer in the world at the end of the day, right? So while it is a big deal in terms of what we've been used to, it does imp uh, give room for the future and more creativity. So, you know, 
and somebody can only do one thing for so long, right? But anyways, the whole point from this is I wish him luck going forward. And as for Genshin and, and Star Rail or just Honkai or Hayao Mix, ZZZ, you know, just in general, music from video games have always been incredible. And I have a lot of hope that it will stay that way. But yeah, you know, I would say sad to, to hear this, but at the same time, it's 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 kind of heartwarming just to see that, you know, what he wants to do, what's his goals and what he wants to do, you know, in the future. So, you know, I'm happy for him. But I will say I am curious to see what things will be like without him. I am curious to see what things will be like going forward. Um, of course, he didn't he was not responsible for every single record, but it definitely was a lot of them. Um, and just like, you know, when you watch an anime or you watch like a movie or like a series where one person is the composer for the music or is like, you know, the animation team. When something like that changes, you do notice it. You do notice it. But hopefully Hyo Mix was a really big part of it and it won't be that much of a drastic change going forward. But no matter if it's for Genshin, for Honkai, for any Hyoverse title or whatever he does, I think we can all agree on one thing. Yu Ping Shen never misses. Thank you.